What's one scripture that you don't hear during Christmas, but probably should be in the Christmas story? Let's talk about that. Yeah. Good morning, beautiful people. It is Thursday. Uh, it's Ugly Sweater Day today at school. It's the last day before Christmas break. For everybody, except admin. Admin administration doesn't get this kind of break. But anyway, so what scripture should be in the Christmas story, but typically we don't hear it at Christmas time? I think. So let me lay it back up. The whole Old Testament was pointing to Jesus. And so a lot of these scriptures, we, yes, we do assign to the people who wrote it, but they were pointing towards Jesus. And so a lot of these scriptures are going to have a Christmas story theme or a, a, a life of Jesus theme or the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus and how we should live. And I think this is an important one because even God acknowledges that there's something different about us as humans. And Jesus was born in this way as 100% human and 100% God at the same time. And so Psalm 139, 13 through 16 says this, For you formed me in inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed substance in your book were written, every one of them, the days that were formed for me, when as yet there was none of them. Now think about that. If we think about Jesus being in the womb of Mary and this scripture, God intricately, and he puts us together too, in our, intricately put together in our mother's womb. We are a baby. We are a human intricately made in our mother's womb. I mean, that just, the, the, the miracle, the, the, the gestation period, the, the, the idea of forming another human. I mean, that is a miracle in and of itself. And I, I think this should be part of the Christmas story because Jesus was wonderfully and beautifully and intricately made in Mary's womb. I mean, he was born of a virgin and Jesus came to earth. Think about that. He didn't come as a full-grown adult on a white horse going to the capital and saying, I own everything and the prideful king. He came as a humble baby that needed to be served and then he was going to serve others. He was in a humble estate. He didn't come all proudful and says, you know, I own everything. I own you, so you got to do what I say. No, he became a servant to us all. And so he was, this scripture just blows my mind. And it's a, it's a wonderful scripture to talk about how babies are just a miracle in and of itself. And how we should really, above all, think of life as precious from the womb to the grave. And look at Jesus from the womb. He was intricately made for our purpose, grew up started his ministry, and died for us, and then resurrected. I mean, that's just a mean story, but it all started with a baby. Just an awesome, awesome story. And I think this probably should be part of the Christmas story. Say, say hello, Nova. Say hello, Nova. You got to wave. Okay, or not. Anyway, um... So look this up. My encouragement is to look this up and to read it and to understand it and uh, just to know that babies are like the coolest thing in the world. I mean, 
yeah, it takes a long time. And I'm sorry that my wife went through 31 hours or 15 hours, 31 hours for Isla, 15 hours for uh, Andrew. And you know, Mary was in pain. I mean, it wasn't like, you know, the, the best situation. But at the end of that pain, there was purpose, and the purpose was Jesus. And um, I don't know, just a really cool thing. You know, I'm holding baby. I'm, okay, I can go on and on about babies. They're pretty cool. So, I love you. Jesus loves you too. You have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. And then we got Christmas coming up. Merry Christmas. All right, love you, bye.